Members, first the prime crew. And they have to go back. Even dancing. <laughs> Next screen. Not too far. spent uh, over two years getting ready for this mission and uh, 
It's both a sense of excitement and relief when you finish all of the exams and the commission here in Russia. It's a, it's a very high bar for training. They expect a lot of the cosmonauts and the astronauts for us to go to space. So uh, we're just really excited. And today has really been a day of ceremony. And uh, it's uh, both to celebrate the fact that we have this human spaceflight program. But for me also, I think it's very special that we have such a positive international cooperation with all of our partners. And so uh, I'm just really honored to be part of it. And uh, one other question for you. It's uh, been a little bit over six years since you've been to the space station, yeah. so some things have changed. Yeah. Uh, you have a window now, a big window. The cupola yep. wasn't there the last time. Uh, what are some things you're excited to do again? And uh, what are some things you're looking forward to doing for the first time? Absolutely. You know, um, I am very excited about being able to look through the cupola. All of uh, my colleagues who have been there on board with uh, the cupola just talk about what an amazing view you have of our planet. And so I'm very excited about that. And uh, one of the things that, that I want to be able to repeat, which is really just a standard portion of our job there, is being able to share the experience with our friends and family back home. We have an internet protocol telephone, and uh, on occasion we have video conferences with family, so it's a really great way for us to share our experience. Tim Peake, this is going to be your first trip to the International Space Station. You've just finished all these uh, hard years of training that kind of culminated today. What are your feelings as you're about to leave for Baikonur in a week? I'm really excited. You know, it's the culmination of two and a half years of assigned crew training. Everything for me has been a new experience. Um, uh, and so going down to Baikonur now as prime crew, it's just a wonderful part of this incredible journey into space. And uh, any experiments that you're excited about working on uh, on your first trip to space? Sure, I mean, there's, you know, over 250 experiments. There's loads to choose from. Some of the interesting ones, um, I love the electromagnetic levitator. You know, it's a great experiment and what it's capable of. And, and coming from a background of engineering and test piloting, I think that some of the, the metal alloys that we're researching on that experiment are very exciting. Um, protein crystals in the Japanese laboratory, again, a very exciting experiment. I think it's got huge p potential for medical benefits for people back here on Earth. And the human physiology experiments, obviously, I'm particularly interested in because they're being done on my own body. Um, and some of those, the research into the immune system, into asthma, again, it's very exciting research.